So in previous chapter, we learned about the process of photosynthesis and we also learned how plants can make their food. Plants can make their food by the help of carbon dioxide, sunlight, chlorophyll and etc. and water also and this whole process is called photosynthesis. And we also learned that animals cannot make their food by themselves. They can get the, take the help of some things, some plants and etc. So in this chapter, we learn how human beings and animals can make their food, can get their nutrition. So now, let's start our second chapter, that is nutrition in animals. And the first topic of our second chapter is heterotrophic nutrition. So, Heterotrophic nutrition. As we all know that human beings and animals cannot make their food, they depend on some other organism. That's why they are called heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition, वो animals होते हैं जो कि अपना food खुद से prepare नहीं कर पाते, ये दूसरे पे depend रहते हैं. Plants की तरह ही अपना food खुद prepare नहीं कर पाते. That's why they are called heterotrophs और इस पूरी process को heterotrophic nutrition कहते हैं. So now the classification of animals on the basis of their eating habit. So they are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Herbivores. Herbivores are those animals which eat only green grasses and green plants. They are also called vegetarian animals. They do not eat fleshes like example cow, goat and buffalo. Second one is carnivorous animals. Carnivorous animals are those animals which eat only fleshes. They have sharp tooth to grab up the fleshes. They are also called non-vegetarian animals like example tiger, lion and leopard. The third one is omnivorous animals. Omnivorous animals are those animals which eat both green grass and fleshes. The most famous example of omnivores are human beings and other than the polar bear, the bear and the pig. So now the short summary is herbivorous animals wo animals hote hai jo sirf green grass khate yani ki hari pattiyan aur hari ghas khate hai jaise ki example mein hum gai cow buffalo etc second one is carnivorous animals carnivorous animals wo hote hai jo sirf mansahari hote hai yani ki dusre janwaron ka maas khate hai example mein sher lion cheetah etc third one is omnivorous animals omnivorous animals wo animals hote hai jo dono fleshes bhi khate hai aur green grass bhi khate hai inke example mein hum सबसे मोस्ट कॉमन एग्जांपल है हम इंसान ओके न्यूट्रिशन किस चीजों पे डिपेंड करता है न्यूट्रिएंट्स जो हमारी बॉडी में न्यूट्रिएंट के कंपोनेंट्स होते हैं दूसरा हमारी बॉडी में वो चीज कैसे जाती है और तीसरा हमारी बॉडी उसको कैसे यूटिलाइज करती है नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड कंपोनेंट ऑफ फूड वो होते हैं जो हमारी बॉडी को फूड से इनडायरेक्टली मिलते हैं ठीक है जस्ट लाइक कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स फैट vitamins proteins and minerals so as we know that there are so many species are found in our earth jaise ki hum sab log jante hain ki hamare earth mein alag alag tarike ki species hoti hain just like honey bees uh, human beings animals etc so ye sare species jab alag hai to inka food taking ka tarika khane peene ka tarika bhi alag hoga aur inke khane peene ki cheeze bhi alag hongi jaise ki hum pata hai honey bees honey bees lete hain नेक्टर से मतलब अपना रस जो है फूलों का वो चूज कर काम करते हैं ठीक है उसके बाद हम पढ़ते हैं ह्यूमन बींग्स तो हमारे जो हम इन्फेंट्स जो होते हैं वो फीडिंग करते हैं मतलब कि जो वो दूध पीते हैं देन तो ऐसा क्यों होता है बिकॉज हम ह्यूमन बींग्स और एनिमल्स इन सभी का जो ट्रैक डाइजेस्टिव ट्रैक होता है हमारी बॉडी के जो सारे रिक्वायरमेंट्स होते हैं वो सब कुछ अलग होते हैं सब कुछ एक जैसा नहीं होता है जिसके वजह से हम लोगों की फीडिंग वगैरह जो है वो सभी की चेंज हो जाती है ठीक है तो आज हम पढ़ेंगे ह्यूमन बींग्स जो कि मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट और सबसे ज्यादा बिग जो है एनिमल है उसके डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम के बारे में so as we all are seeing the structure of digestive system of human beings and the components of the digestive system are first the mouth then esophagus after that stomach and then the left side of stomach is liver and gallbladder and after that 
the small intestine and the large intestine and then rectum and the ending of our digestive system is anus. So students, let's revise it and in the next video, we'll learn about the functioning of our digestive system and some more topics. If you like this video, hit the like button, share and more and please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon also. So join with our Sarah's family.